So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Nika and in today's video I am going to take you along as I set up my new journal for 2020. So last year I was using the Menorah journal which is um, sized at A5 with 240 pages and it's a dot grid one and I loved it so much that I decided to get the same one for me this year as well again and yeah I really really love this journal especially because I think it's firstly very very affordable and secondly um, I think this is the best option for bullet journaling especially here in India so I really love the page quality and as you can see I had a great time <laughs> unboxing the package this is also a family based business so that's great it's also very sustainable it comes in this wonderful um, cardboard box which is just so cool and you can just you know spruce it up and use it for something else as well and um, I took it in black and I think using black is just the best option for me of course the best thing about the bullet journal is that you can customize it according to your own needs and and, and it's very um, dependable in that way because it does not have any set features like the cases in certain diaries and um, it's great that's why um, so yeah this is where I show you the feel it's sort of like leather I think it's leather and I really like that the elastic enclosure is really good I used the previous one for a year and the elastic did not become loose at all there is also a wonderful back pouch where you can keep like important pages um, maybe some bookmarks or bank details stuff like that there are two bookmarking ribbons which I found to be very very helpful and I just think that it's great to have two because at one certain point of time you obviously need to mark at least two I mean that's the way it is for me so that's a thing and yeah let's see how I get it ready for the next year so one of the things that I am planning to do in 2019 uh, 2020 um, I guess I'm gonna make that same mistake again and again even while speaking and writing even so as I was saying one initiative that I have taken up is that I will try to be a bit more sustainable than I usually am and that's why in this um, particular scene you can see that I'm using this brown paper which was actually um, sent by Amazon along with like certain packaging for cushioning and all etc and that's why I've got a ton of these brown pages and I decided to just use them to make it more aesthetic because I think it gives a very vintagey and um, homey vibe to it very boho vibe you could say and that's why I really really like it and as you can see I'm just setting it down on the diary to make sure that there is the crease and it lies evenly on the whole page another thing that I try to do when I bullet journal is that I really really uh, try to keep it simple and use only products which I have and I'm trying to be a bit of a minimalist this year if not a complete minimalist then at least you know buy lesser things than I usually do because I've become too much of a consumer I think I mean we all have so this is my um, trial <laughs> I guess um, and that's why I'm trying to use as many less products as possible buy as many less products as possible until and unless i absolutely need it so i decided to keep the front page really simple and i just wrote 2020 in um sort of hand lettering and then i used normal paint to paint it over and lastly since it's brown the page blots a bit and the lines um the edges weren't very smooth and that's why i went over it with my black sketch pen as you can see and I think the end product was really good if I say so myself I'll definitely be posting pictures in my Instagram and I'll link all of them down below so you should definitely check that out um, yeah I tend to do the I tend to cut off the T's at the end and um, that's pretty much it the next page is me trying to make my calendar page I'm just doing all the calculations here regarding the number of dots I need number of grids I need to leave for each month and so on so I did the whole year on this page I used a double spread to make the whole year and then I'm just writing down the days Monday Tuesdays and so on 
this is to be honest this part of making the calendar is the one that i dread the most i know that it is very very helpful and i find it very very helpful and i later on thank god that i you know finally decided to do it but nonetheless when i'm actually making this process it's just so very cumbersome i do not personally like it and yeah so that's the process of me writing the calendar it's not something i like to do but it makes life really really easier the next thing that i did is just basically make the lines the boundaries a bit bold with my black sketch pen because i think it makes it stand out a bit more and not make it just ordinary like it actually is i really love how some people can really decorate their bullet journal wonderfully because i honestly can't um i'm not that artistic i'm i'm very basic when it comes to it and it clearly shows here i guess so yeah i've been having great fun making it and i like it in the next page i am trying to make a uh, lessons learned in 2020 where i'll just write down all the things that i learned in 2019 i'm messing up the years but i mean you can clearly see what i mean and i think having this written out in front of your eyes is very very helpful and you know keeps you from making the same mistakes again i think and again i've used the same brown paper and i hope it will like make the whole spread nice i mean that was what i was hoping throughout and if i say so myself i quite like the end product of the whole thing at the end and then i also decided to do an accomplishments page where i write down all the things that i think i have accomplished in 2019 and it will just help push me further help me um you know take the step and continue doing more stuff then I also decided to uh, do my 2020 goals and my accomplishments for 2020. 2020 goals will again help me be focused on my work and on the things that I want to achieve. And my accomplishments of 2020 page will help validate that because I'll write down and you know, it's just much more, it just feels a lot more real when it's written down compared to when something is just you know floating about in your head so that's why i made this page as well and the last spread that i'll be doing for the like beginning of the year is a basic page it's my blog post and youtube ideas page where i'll just randomly write down the things that i hope to do for um either of the two and i've just started using it and it's been really great um it's helped me keep myself on track and remember about the like monthly or bi-monthly videos or blog posts i need to do especially regarding the regular ones because otherwise like a for instance for a review or something like that it's very common and you can usually remember it um at the front of the page i decided to write my name nika s and so there we go this is my bullet journal for 2020